Rhinohorn 125 and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Toy Biz Planet Hulk 6 inch action figure. But before we get to this, um, it was just uh, recently, July 19th, my birthday, um, and I got some things in the mail. I did reviews so far on one of them, uh, but, or two, depends when I upload this. Um, but I went there and I got this Hulk, which I'm doing a review on. And I also got this Batman, which I'm thinking about doing a review on. I don't know if I will yet. So I don't do a review on every action fair I get, but, you know, I mainly do reviews on action fairs that deserve the review. I also got this in the mail, which I'm definitely doing a review on. Um, because I really do love this X-Men wave that they've been doing. And I plan to get all of them that I can. Um, and especially here, I plan to get the Cyclops. But, I'll talk more on that when I do the review of that. So that'll probably be my next review. And, I, of course, I actually got some comics since it was a birthday thing I was doing. Uh, I got lucky enough to find Marvel Zombies vs. the Army of Darkness. I cannot wait to read that. Um, and I got just a crap load more. Um, got the very new Hulk comic. And it's the new weapon. Just a lot of comics. A lot of Wolverine. Because, you know, I like Hulk and I like Captain America. I mean, I like Wolverine and Captain America the same. I can't choose between them. Like, if they were to fight, I would just go by what's, like, uh, what's realistic. Who would win? Wolverine would win. It's just actually a proven fact that Captain America has never actually won hand-on-hand -hand -hand combat between Wolverine. It's a fun fact right there. I mean, I'm sure he's won a fight, but hand-to-hand -hand combat not yet. Um, so, I got a lot of Wolverine comic books, because I have a lot more Captain America comic books than any other comic book, it seems. More Avengers and all that, so really want to get up my uh, Wolverine X-Men. And I, I, th this is not to judge a book by its cover, but I've actually never really heard of this one. I've seen this picture before. And, yeah, so I'm going to read this, and I if you guys know anything about me, is that I love um, Japanese culture, especially the samurai, and interests me a lot, so, thought that looked, I pretty much got that based on the cover, so, and that's probably good a reason as any, since you don't get a description on the back, it's the card, so, and even if you did, it would be, so, uh, let's get to the review of this, I don't want this to be falling out too long, just talking about that. So let's get started on the review. Alright, so here he is. This is a massive figure. I just recently did a review on the Marvel Select Hulk Unleashed figure. And like I've said multiple times, I collect Captain America's, Wolverine's, Hulk's, and Superman's. Mainly Hulk's, Captain America's, and Wolverine's. Try to get as many as I can. I don't get every single one I see, like... 3.75 inch ones, like, um, in other words, 3 inch. I mainly go for the 6 inch scale, and so, and I just try to get any I can get my hands on that look good enough to get. Um, so, and I saw this there, uh, it did have a thing on here, it was $40, but it was buy one, get one half off. So, I got the, um, Batman for 35 um, like I showed, the, that one was 35 and I got this one half off, so it was 20 And I think $20 for this is, like, just very good. Because on Amazon, this is super expensive. That I can remember. Maybe the price has went down. I actually haven't really looked. But, I don't normally try to go for Marvel Legends Toy Biz very much, as much as I do the new Marvel Legends. But, anyway, let's get to the review. Um, oh, sorry. Knock that around. Uh, anyway, so nice art up here from the. Um, I'll just put this up here. From the comic, Planet Hulk comic, the Marvel Legends. I really do love the old logo more than the, uh, the one now, but Hasbro did take over, which is not bad because I really do love those, their figures as well. Um, in the front, you see Planet Hulk, Morning, Choking Hazard. I really don't know what you would choke on this. I, I really don't. I don't really understand that. Collect all six figures to build Anal... Analis? I, I, I don't know how to say that, and I don't know who that is. 
but I'm not really going to try to collect that. Um, but if you do follow me on Instagram, if you are trying to make this guy and you can't find the figures, uh, if you need the head, um, I'm here because I do have a big bag of um, these and I maybe will do a video on that and then if you guys have Instagram, just hit me up on there. So uh, here is just some pictures from the Planet Hulk comic. I really do love that comic. Um, it's one of my favorite comics I've probably ever read. Um, I, I just love the whole thing of Planet Hulk. Uh, here's a description. So you guys can pause and read that. Alright, so, and here's the other figures you can get in the wave. Um, there's Banshee, Ultimate Iron Man, Planet Hulk, which is what we got, Emma Frost, um, X3 Beast, and Hercules. I really don't plan on getting any of those. Um, in fact, I've actually heard that this Iron Man, Banshee, and her are like some of the worst Marvel Legends to have I watched a top 10 in there in the top 10, so nope. I guess if I were to get any other, it'd be that beast, but I have the most wonderful beast you can get. It's just the Marvel Legends Toy Biz Beast. So, um, that is pretty much the package. Uh, also, you get a nice look at the massive figure in there. He's got a shield. And I thought this was very fitting to get because of the Thor Ragnarok coming in, uh, in the movie. And I am super excited for that, and I cannot wait to see that. Um, it's next on my list of movies to see alongside... Um, War of the Planet of the Apes, but I really want to see Thor, and I hope it has a crap ton of Hulk in that movie. I might have to look that up if it's actually going to have a lot of Hulk in there, and I really hope it does. So, let's get this figure and unleash the Hulk once again out of the package. Alright, so here this Hulk is out of the package. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to say, um, pretty sure this goes on like this yeah but uh, I'm not really gonna talk about this because I don't really even know who this is actually to be completely honest with you I mean details are good uh, but I, I I don't know who that is completely um, in that series to be completely honest but anyway here's the Hulk very brutus very broad of a Hulk not the biggest Hulk I have um, of course from my last Hulk uh, but like I said, I collect Hulks, and I thought this was a very wonderful looking figure. I've never watched a review on this Hulk before, and I really do love his articulation. I love the bending in the fingers, but before we get to that, let's get to the accessories. And I guess you can count the shoulder pad, the helmet, and the shield as an accessory. So let's take a look at those. Um, quickly, let me just show you how he's holding the shield. In... How mine came is this one was more puffed up, so I put his arm through that one, but I guess you could put it either way. It makes no difference, really. It's just a lot easier for that. So it depends how yours is in the package, I guess. But And he holds it very good. It, I mean, it can like go like that or whatever, but he it actually squeezes his hand, and he actually holds it because, you know, his finger's bent. But just unattach that, take it off, take a look at it. So very nice looking. I really do love it. Um... I, I couldn't even say to add more color because I think this is pretty good of a color for it. I love how it's just completely just damaged up and how that looks really nice. And the inside's pretty pretty pristine. The, they did uh, some work on the straps here, but no really work right back here, which doesn't bother me at all. And he does hold it very nice, and it is very pretty good shield. And you could probably use it, I mean, you could use it for any figure if you really wanted to, but I mean, I feel like it'd be good for like a Hercules figure, or really, you know, just whatever you want to use it for. But, very nice. Uh, I'll also talk about the, here is the shoulder pad, which comes off very easy. Um, I kind of wish, like, I can imagine if this was a Marvel Legends Infinite series Hulk, he would have some kind of hole right here where you can peg this on, I feel like. I mean, that's just kind of what they do. So I feel like that's what they would have done. So it just kind of loosely just kind of fits on there. But, eh, nothing wrong with that. It doesn't really bother me. This also has some nice detail. Nice just... I don't even know you'd call those rivets or whatever. But also nice damage going on there. And very glossy in the inside. Because, I mean, you're not going to see the inside kind of a rubbery feel which is nice I'm glad it's not super hard like imagine if this was super hard plastic 
trying to put that on. I mean, it just kind of goes right over, but it wouldn't give you much of a choice where to put it, I feel like. But Yeah, so that's a nice accessory as well. You can take that off. And the helmet, um, they it has a rubber thing right here. And if you if I ended up losing this, I can just get another. Um, and yeah, it's kind of noticeable on there. I actually I'll take this off and show you how it looks. But this helmet looks really nice. Nice feathers, right there. Um, nice and damaged. Looks very good. And it's nice and like kind of rubbery ish, so it doesn't fit so stiff on his head and it's hard to get on. But I'll show you how that fits on without that. And it pretty much fits the same except when you put them upside down, it isn't gonna come off, which I probably won't even use this on there, but um, as you can see, he it does fit very nice. Cause I mean, oh, okay, that's I I did not expect it to not come off. So you don't even need this. It's just to keep it on the package pretty much. But I do have a lot of these kind of rubber bands. So if I lose that, oh well. Um, so nice accessories. So like that, and very easy to get everything on. And, I mean, yeah, so this also goes on. I think I put this one through first, yeah. So, just show you. So, I do that. Uh, I'm going to move, put this over the thumb real quick. But, it's very easy to get on. And then, you just clench his fist down however tight you want it on there. Which, you're going to want it as tight as possible. So, and he holds that very nice. So, alright, let's take this stuff off and get to the figure. Alright. So here he is, uh, you already saw him without it, but now I'm just going to take a look. Uh, first things first is articulation. So uh, his arm goes all the way around and has like that kinking thing, doesn't make a very loud noise, which I actually like that. Uh, arm goes up quite a ways, whoa, and swivels up at the bicep right there, and bends at the elbow. Uh, not that much, but you know, he's got that big muscle. It bends enough for a Hulk. Um, being brute broad and such I mean it would be hard to get a lot of bending in the arm but uh, swivels at like an angle on the wrist right there uh, finger goes up that much and goes down that much these fingers all these three of these move as you can see and he so he can point and I would be careful with these I mean they do they're so big so you don't have to worry too much as much as you would with some Marvel Legends that their fingers move but still would want to be cautious of this one finger right here so you want to have his hand in a fist most of the time um on the other hand it's the same this hand's a little more less of a fist i would say like this finger's more pointed out so you know he can point a lot better but it's pretty much the same same articulation uh head can fully rotate like that uh he can look up quite a ways uh look down eh, somewhat but you could still tell he's looking down when I do that, and then there's his head straight forward. Um, he's got a swivel right here. Um, I don't know what kind of hinge that's on, really, but, you know. It's kind of hinge that you could take apart if you really wanted to, and maybe risk breaking the figure in the process. But swivels at the waist, goes forward and back, eh, in a tiny bit, at the thigh, swivels at the thigh. Um, to be careful here. All right. Bends quite a ways at the leg, so you can get him in a good running pose if you can balance him. And if you're like an ACBA picture like kind of person, you know, then you, that would be good. Uh, it almost looks like it can swivel right here, but it actually can't. That'd be kind of a weird place, though, because it's so close to this. It's actually a good thing. Uh, goes up and down at the foot. Uh, has a somewhat of an ankle pivot. And then the toes go up, which is a very nice touch. So that is pretty much the articulation on the figure. Nice range of articulation. I really love the way this figure is built. Um, and now, before I get to detail, I will show size comparison. So here he is next to a standard 7-inch um, NECA figure. I wouldn't say that's too good a size since he's Hulk. Eh, but uh, it's not bad. But why would you want to put him up to Ash anyway? Uh... And here he is next to the Legend series Wolverine. I think that is a wonderful size right there. Um, so, and if you wanted to customize this figure, you really could. You can 
somehow find green that matches that and somehow sculpt and make it look like the pants are ripped and just turn them into a normal average Hulk. I don't know why you would want to when you get the helmet and the shield and the shoulder armor, but I mean, if you were to have two, that'd be a really good idea. And here he is next to um, the other Toy Biz Hulk. He's shorter than him, but he's a lot muscular. Uh, I actually, when I saw this in the package, I thought he, these two were going to be exactly the same size. Um, but they're not. Uh, I have all different sizes of Hulks. Uh, the Age of Ultron Hulk, I'm not comparing, though. Um, it's pretty much the same size as this Hulk, so I didn't see the point, really. But, and here he is next to the Hulk I just reviewed the other day. Um, so it's Marvel Select Hulk Unleashed, and this is the, hu sorry, hiccuped. This is the biggest Hulk I own, and I'm very proud to have it. Go check out that review. Um, it's very nice. Hulk. It's probably my favorite still, um, even with this one. But I may, at some time, when it gets bigger, may do a Hulk collection video and rate them from uh, best to worst. I wouldn't say worst, but favorite to least favorite. Uh, but anyway, let's get to the detail on this figure. Um, put this up a little bit more. And here we go. So, first things first is the face. Uh, looks very nice. Uh, can't really see his eyes all that much until you like do that. And then you can see his big green looking eyes. Hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, I love the just the bone structure and the way his face is. Very brute looking. Uh, I love a... I actually kind of like the hair. I feel like maybe they could have went a little longer right through here, but... It's not bad, especially since you're supposed to have the helmet on anyway. But since you're able to take it off, I feel like the hair should have been a little longer. It almost looks like he's balding around, just keeping that on the top. But it doesn't really bother me. Um, not much bothers me on figures unless the eyes are screwed up or they can't stand. Then a figure really messes with me. I actually recently got the Mafex Superman from Batman vs Superman. And I like the figure. Hate the cape so much it messes with the figure and a lot and I'm probably going to somehow fix it. And I didn't think because of the cape that the figure deserved a review. It would have just been me complaining about the cape half the time. So, yeah, not going to do that review. You can go watch that review if you guys want to see review that Superman on another channel. But uh, I really do love like the veins and you can just see the muscle and the depth in there and all that. And... Yeah, the vein, you see the dirt through here. Hands look nice. They sculpted the palm. There's little, like, creases in there and the fingers and then palm and the lines on the fingers. And it's got the same thing with his chest. Nice abs there. Hulk nipples there, yeah. And some more veins. Uh, his neck also looks very nice. Uh, pants are yeah, kind of just normal. They don't have any rips in them or anything. But he is also Plant Hulk, so they do have sized pants for his size of guy. So I actually don't bother him. At least they're dirty. Yeah, see they have some paint black wash in there. Kind of dirty looking, so that's nice. I really do like that. And he's got some dirt on his feet. His feet look really nice. Really nice toes there. And they've got uh, chip toes, and the toes look really nice. Some detail in there. And uh, same thing with his fingernails, actually. Make them all chipped, and then they colored them differently than his skin color, which is very nice touch. So it would be weird, you know, because I mean, look at my hand. See, my nail is not the same color as my hand, so that's good. So very nice detail on this figure. I do like this figure a lot. Um, it's not my favorite Hulk that I own, but it is a must get if you collect Hulks. Um, and I. They are making, uh, I can't remember what company is making them, but they're, it might be Mafex, I might be wrong, but they're making action figures from Thor Ragnarok, and they're making a Hulk, and I think some other people, but all I saw so far is Hulk and Thor, and I really want that Hulk. It's pretty much this one, but movie version, and if I don't get it, I'll be fine, but, you know 
course I'll be fine, but it would be very nice to get and add to my Hulk collection, because I do like... This arm is kind of hard to bend when you have the shield on. So yeah, I kind of grab it right there. There we go. So, but, yeah. I like getting comic versions of superheroes, action figures, more than I do movie ones. Um, unless I can't find, but, like, Captain America's in Hulk's, and... You know, Wolverines, I like getting every version of them, but most of the time I mainly stick to the comic versions more than the movies, because, you know, you can tell the difference between a movie figure and a comic figure. But, this figure gets a 10, I have no complaints about it, um, if I had any kind of thing it would be the hair, but this is an old figure and it's not going to be perfect, I mean, even figures now aren't completely perfect, you'd think by now they would have made them perfect, but everybody's got a different opinion. So, like, to me, in my opinion, this is the best Wolverine you could get, you could ask for, 6-inch. Um, it's very straightforward and whatnot, and 